hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video I will show you the explanation of previous function so if you remember from the previous video we discussed about the peak function which is helpful in fixing up a, a value of a particular row um, from the data set so we looked at the shipping cost and we fixed the first value by taking the uh, zero as first parameter now uh, if you have a requirement that you want to pick up the previously loaded value so for example if 100 rows are loaded uh, 100 rows are loaded then you want to pick up the 99 and if 101 row uh, is coming uh, then you want to pick up 100th one then you can use the previous so let me show you previous as I type the previous as you can see uh, here it shows a quick explanation that previous finds the value of expression using data from the previous input record that has not been discarded because of where clause that means it will look at the row for the pre previous row for that particular value that we uh, based on which we specified the field and uh, give you back that value so if i say previous and uh, i say shipping cost uh, as previous underscore shipping so what i'm doing is just uh, giving creating a new field name right and put a comma so so what it is doing uh, it is just storing the last shipping cost value now in many scenarios where you need to do the comparison with the last field value in such cases you need to transform the data in such a way that you are picking up the previous value now what happens if you need to pick up uh, you need to go two times back right well in that case what you need to do is simply previous of previous right so now you are basically going to step back now i have I hope I have given you basically a basic idea that if what will happen when you will have three previous over here so this way uh, you can basically look up uh, as number you can go as many step back as you want and uh, get the output as per your need so once you are done hit the save um, click load data everything is fine so if I just close it and uh, go to app overview and uh, let me just see if all the results are so it has stopped working so let me pause my video and restart this again all right here i'm back with the as i've reopened the application and i'm in the data model viewer and as you can see previous shipping value is over here which is actually going to step back so let's go to the app overview and see it in action all right uh, let's go into the sheet uh, let's go into the edit mode uh, let's remove this for a moment and let's take a simple table for the evaluation purpose so what we will first enter is the shipping cost right and we will add another column of dimension previous shipping cost all right so here uh, is basically the information is as you can see it is ordered it's in a way that it is sorted uh, that's why you are it, you are not able to see uh, the relevance over here let me see in the done no it is sorted so if i go ahead and sort numerically if i remove that if i remove that and here remove the sorting sort numerically sort alphabetically uh, currently sorting the load order and here also so right now this in case of both currently sorting in the load order currently sorting in the load order let's see in done still i see that it is basically showing me that ordering is something which is uh, 
not mentioned here. So let me try to go in into the data model viewer to quickly see these changes and verify if everything is coming fine. So here I am uh, and let me click over here to show the preview. I'll just select the table. All right, and here it should show us the shipping cost. Here is our first shipping cost, the keep function. And here is our previous shipping cost. So in this third row, it's basically going to do step back and giving you the 35. Similarly, here uh, in this row, it is giving you 68.02. So our previous is working fine. So that's pretty much it about the previous function. Uh, I think uh, we are able to evaluate our result and I hope uh, this has helped you understand the functionality. And I'll meet in the new video with a new topic.